Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel and welcome to December wrap up. December wasn't the greatest month. I managed to read four books. It's okay, but I hoped for more, <laughs> but it's fine. It was what it was. I read, that's the most important thing. So four books, that means a short wrap up. I don't know how much I remember about the books I read at the beginning of the month. Who knows? Let's just go through the books in order I read them. First book I read was Count Zero by William Gibson. This is a second book in a series. First is New Romancer. I think the series was called Sprawl? Don't count on me. I don't know. But... It's a short book. It is 200 something page book and it took me eight days to read it because I just struggled. I struggled through it, but it's fine. It's fine. I just couldn't get into the story. I didn't understand what is happening for most of the book. At the end, I kind of understood more and was interested in the ending, but the overall journey was a struggle. It is a sci-fi. There is like three POVs, I feel like. And of course, eventually they come together. But I couldn't understand what is happening in few of those for a long time. My excuse for reading this book is because I have this challenge every year where my family members choose books for me to read. Everyone chooses one. And my brother chose this one for me to read. And that's the only reason I read it. Because I didn't even enjoy the first one. And he tortured me and made me read the second one. But third, I'm I'm not reading the third one. This ends my journey with William Gibson and this series. Next, The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rondell. This was just an okay read for me. I was expecting more, but mostly because I've heard people talking about it and loving it. It is about a girl who lives with her mother and they are wolf wilders. They help wolves that have been pets for rich people get back to the wilderness. Things change when there is a new rule where they have to kill the wolves that come in and not like work with them so they can live on their own in a wilderness. And of course, things don't go <laughs> as planned and the mother is arrested and taken to the prison and the little girl is going on a journey to save her mother. I think the thing that bothered me the most was that I didn't believe the story. Like a 13 year old, I feel like she's 13 or something like that. Like this little girl just goes on her own and other kids join her and they do things I just didn't believe that kids can do the things they did. I just didn't believe it. I didn't find it believable. But maybe it's just me. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit disappointing read for me, but it is a beautiful cover. I think it is perfect for winter, because it is set in winter too. So, But the cover kind of gives me Red Riding Hood vibes, because she has a red cape. Then I read The Castle of Tangled Magic by Sophie Anderson. It's about a girl who lives in this big castle and magical storm comes one night and after that she has to go on a journey into another world that she can go to through her castle to figure out how to save her home because another storm is coming and it most likely will destroy the whole castle and yeah it is a journey of figuring out what she has to do to save her home it was interesting i really liked her kind of animal companion it is her house spirit and it is a fox you can see it here it was really cute but Reading this one, I realized what I don't like about Slavic and Russian folklore inspired books because I read two in a row, like both of these are Russian inspired, I feel like. And what bothers is the language that are used because books are written in English. They are English books. 
I understand to make it feel more Russian or Slavic, you use names for people that are Slavic. So it is understood that where it is said or pla names of places. But when you use like simple words as grandma, you use the Russian word for that. Why? I don't understand that and it bothers me. I don't know why exactly it bothers me, but it does. And I realized that reading this book. So why I think I can't read <laughs> two Slavic inspired books in a row because it just jumps out at me. Otherwise, it was interesting story. Sophie Anderson definitely writes really compelling stories for children. So definitely recommend her books, but yeah. And the last book I finished was Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. This is a sci-fi story set in a world where there is this empire and then there is resistance who is trying to fight the empire because it's a twisted world. People are being programmed from the very beginning to not resist the empire. They are like almost like robots, like brainwashed people and the resistance is wanting to change that. And two members of the resistance are sent on a mission to get more information on something and they kind of steal a ship and turns out there is someone else on the ship and they form an alliance with them and go on even a bigger mission and a lot of things are like revealed things are happening and i found the world really interesting i really liked all the characters in the crew kind of because they were so different with different backgrounds with their own secrets and things so it was really interesting it didn't end well it ended on a note that you know that there is a sequel and yeah i hope I will get to the sequel, but we'll see how it goes. I'm so bad with getting to sequels, especially when I don't own them, because I need to buy them. I need to remember to buy them. So we'll see how it goes with this one, but definitely a uh, good and really interesting sci-fi. This is it. These were the four books I read in December. It was just an okay reading month because like, I didn't love any of them, but my favorite definitely was Seven Devils. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Please let me know in the comments down below. What was the last read of 2022 for you? And, and did you like it? But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye.